Hi, welcome to this Corp Maths video on multiplying a matrix by a scalar. In this video, we're going to look at how to multiply a matrix, such as this one, A, which is 8, 5, by a scalar. And a scalar is just a number, it's something with just a magnitude. So, what we're going to do is we're going to find that in this question, we're going to find the matrix 4A. And to do that, all we need to do is multiply all the elements, so all of the numbers inside the matrix A, by the number 4. And that will tell us the matrix 4A. So let's do that. So we've got 8, we're going to times that by 4. Well, 4 times 8 is 32. And then we've got the element 5, so 4 times 5 is equal to 20. And that's it. So the matrix A would be 32, 20. Okay, next question. Okay, this time we've got the matrix B, and the matrix B is a 2 by 2 matrix, and we've got the elements 7, 2, 0, minus 3. And we've been asked to work out the matrix 10B. So all we need to do is multiply each of these elements by 10, and that will be the matrix 10B. So we've got 7, we're going to multiply that by 10, so that's going to be 70. We've got the element 2, so times that by 10, so that would be 20. We've got 0, well 10 times 0 is 0. And negative 3, well 10 times negative 3 is negative 30. And that's it. So if we had the matrix B, which is 7, 2, 0, minus 3, the matrix 10B, when we multiply it by the scalar 10, we get the matrix 70, 20, 0, minus 30. Okay, let's have a look at our next example now. So next example, we've got the matrix C, which is 6, negative 2, 1, 5. And we've been asked to work out the matrix minus 2C. So all we need to do is multiply all these elements by minus 2. So let's work out what that would be. So first of all, we've got 6. Well, 6 times minus 2 would be minus 12, because a positive times a negative is a negative. We've then got negative 2. When we times negative 2 by negative 2, we get 4, because a negative times a negative is obviously a positive. We've got the number 1. We're going to times that by minus 2, so that would be minus 2. And we've got the number 5. When we times that by minus 2, we get minus 10. And that's it. So if we had the matrix C, which is 6 minus 2, 1, 5, the matrix two, minus 2C two would be minus 12, 4, minus 2, minus 10. Okay, we've got two more examples. Our next example, we've got the matrix D, which is 8 minus 4, 1, 0. And we've been asked to find the matrix minus D. Well, remember in algebra, if we have minus x, that would be the same as minus 1x. But we tend not to write the 1, and we just write it as minus x. Well, in this, um, in this question, we've been asked to find the matrix minus d, which is the same as minus 1d. So all we need to do is multiply all these elements by the number minus 1. So let's do that. So we've got 8. Well, 8 times minus 1 is minus 8. We've got minus 4, but minus 4 times minus 1 is 4. We've got the number 1, so, well, 1 times minus 1 is minus 1. And we've got 0, well, 0 times anything is 0. And that's it. So if we have the matrix D, which is 8 minus 4, 1, 0, the matrix minus D would be minus 8, 4, minus 1, 0. Okay, and our last example, our last question. So our last question, we've got the matrix D again, which is the same matrix, 8 minus 4, 1, 0. And we've been asked to work out the matrix 3 quarters D. In other words, we just need to multiply all these numbers by 3 quarters, or find 3 quarters off those numbers. So let's do that. 3 quarters times 8, well, 3 quarters times 8, that's the same as 3 quarters of 8, so that's 6. 3 quarters times by minus 4, well, that's 3 quarters off minus 4, which would be minus 3, because 3 quarters of 4 is 3, so of minus 4 would be minus 3. 3 quarters times by 1, well, that's 3 quarters. And 3 quarters times by 0 would be 0. And that's it. So if you want to multiply a matrix by a scalar, all you need to do is multiply each of the elements in the matrix by the scalar, by the number. And that's it. 